All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways to create drag and drop interactions in Articulate Storyline. So the first way is to use the triggering option. So uh, the way that works is uh, we've got some objects on the screen, and let's say I'm going to I'm doing some training and showing you how to assemble a company ID card. So what I want you to do is I want you to take this character, uh, this image, and then drag it into the um, picture frame here. So what I can do is use a trigger. So the first thing I want to do is when I'm thinking of triggers in Storyline, so I want to think about what do I want to do, uh, when do I want to do that. So in this case, I can uh, drag uh, an object uh, to this um, uh, picture frame. So let's go ahead and add a trigger. So I'm just going to click on that. So what do I want to do? Now, uh, typically there's an action, so I may want to change the state or whatever. I really don't um, need to uh, have an action, but I want to create the dragging element. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put uh, change the state of, and I'll choose the character, and I'll just keep it to normal, which is what it is now. When, and then we'll say when the object is dropped on, or it could be dragged over. We're going to put when dropped on. And then we're going to, so we've got this character one, and we're going to drop it on the picture frame, which I have here. And so uh, nothing's going to happen other than the fact that now it's draggable. So if I preview this slide, uh, what we can see is we use a trigger, and I can now drag this on here. You can see I, I've created a drag and drop. Now if I wanted the, something to happen, like maybe I want the character state to change, let's say I want to make her smile, we can go ahead and do that. So we can come back to the... Uh, trigger here, and I'm just going to change it from normal to, we'll just say, uh, happy. So now she's happy. So if we preview this, uh, we have a trigger on here that I can drag it here when I drop her, and she's happy. So that's using triggers to create uh, drag and drop interactions in Storyline. The other way you can use or create drag and drops is by using the uh, convert to freeform. Now by default the convert to freeform, uh, the, the idea there is that you're creating a quiz question and you're converting uh, that slide that you created to a freeform quiz question. But uh, if you don't want to use the quiz question, you can still use the drag and drop capabilities. So let's say for example I'm, uh, I'm doing training for mortuary uh, and I want to uh, have you load people into caskets. <laughs> I've got three people and three different caskets. Um, I don't really want to make it a quiz. I just want you to do that. Uh, so what we can do is we're going to use the convert to free form. The reason I'm going to use convert to free form rather than triggers is uh, triggers I'd have to do this individually. With the convert to free form I can just use that uh, drag and drop capability to quickly build this. So I'm going to go to convert to free form, choose drag and drop. That's going to open up this form. So what I choose is what I want to make draggable. In this case, it's going to be all the characters, right? Um, and then where do I want to drop those? So in this case, I'll just have them drop into the different caskets. So they each go to a different casket. I don't really care about um, all of the other uh, quizzing elements. I may want to do something where I kick them back. So I could do if they're not dropped in the right casket. I'm going to uh, kick that back. So we'll do that since I'm not going to use the quizzing. Now you can see by default uh, Storyline creates this, this quiz feedback. You don't need those. You can delete those. So I'm just going to delete those layers. And I don't have the feedback layers. The other thing is I don't need the submit button. So if I click the little uh, properties gear, if I open that up, you can see the submit button is there by default because it's anticipating that I'm doing a quiz question I'm submitting. So I'm going to turn those off. and I can just put previous next buttons. Uh, and the reason I can do that is because I have them kicking back so I don't really care about uh, feedback other than what I can give them on the slide. So now if we preview this, in really about 30 seconds I was able to quickly create um, my drag and drop interaction. So you can see I get feedback if I drop them in the wrong spot and then um, I can uh, do the dragging and dropping uh, pretty easily. So you've got two options. One is using triggers like we should looked at here in this first one. Uh, the other option for drag and drops is using the convert to free form and then just disabling uh, the quiz features unless of course uh, you want the quizzing features. Hope that helps.